Um, hi guys, so today in this tutorial, we are going to be covering how to make uh, a bit star clone, okay? So this is what we are going to be making, and we are going to be using this plugin right here, the MIDI Engine Rhythm Tools plugin, okay? So let's just jump straight into Unreal Engine and see how to do that. So this is the default level you get from the template. So the first thing I want to do is I want to cover the the background, okay? So BeatStar has this um the solid background. All right, so what I'm doing here, I'm adding a plane to the scene, and uh, the purpose of this plane is to act as our background, okay? I'm scaling it up so that it covers the entire camera. Then I'm moving it back all the way to the end of the note highway. Next, what we'd like to do is uh, we'd like to add a material, to create a material for our plane. So this is what's happening. We're creating a material here. And uh, it's important that you set your material to uh, unlit. Uh, this will make sure that the material is plain without no reflections and no shadows. So set it to any color and then apply it to the plane. Okay, so now we'd like to use a texture as our background because that's what uh, MidStar is doing. It's using a texture instead of a solid color. So to do that, just add a texture sample and um, connect that texture sample to your image of color. Okay. So one thing you also want to do is control the, the scaling of the texture or the tiling of the texture just and to do that just add a texture coordinate connected to your texture to, to your texture sample and then add the value that you want for UV tiling and uh, it will tile your, your texture properly. So that's that's the only thing that I'm doing here. Okay, good. The next thing we want to deal with is the, is the camera, right? So if you look at our camera right here, it's landscape, right? And uh, if you go back to Beach Star, this camera is a, it's portrait. Most of it is portrait. So it's not a big deal, but just so that we can get a, a look that's closer to this, we are going to um, change our view so that it's, um, it's portrait, like for, for mobile devices. So go into your camera and then set your aspect ratio to one. And you also want to play with your um, your field of view. So these are the two settings that I'm focusing on here, the field of view and the aspect ratio. Uh, seeing that an aspect ratio of 1.0 works best. And then I just play around with the field of view until I get that view that I want. As you can see now, the black borders on the left and right sides are are larger and uh, the view is more portrait than the landscape so play around with those two settings and you'll be fine okay the next thing we want to do is we want to add some planes on our note highway okay so <clears throat> we need a plane like this so that people can uh, basically just the background for the for where the notes will be traveling Okay, so we need a plane like this to showcase where the notes will be playing, just so that we can follow this the step. So we're going to go back to our blueprints, our rhythm section actor, and then go to the viewport. And then what we want to do is we want to add two planes for the first for the first one, for the first note highway, and for the second note highway. So for the first note highway, let's do a static mesh. We already have a static mesh that we can use. Uh, so I've called it note highway wide visual. And then for the static mesh, I'm going to select the, the SM the thumb lane that we had, which is, well, basically the one on the measure stone right here. Okay, so going back to our room section, it's the wrong orientation, but that's okay. We can flip it right here, 90, I don't know, on the Z axis. We need to, uh, 
flip it on the Z axis, I believe we must um okay. And then we want to move it forward. And then Scale it on the x axis like this. Uh, scale it on the y so that it fits. It should be good. We want to do the same thing for the for the other side. So Alt. Okay, we can't do that here. So let's go ahead and duplicate this. Parent it to. Uh, Rhythm link two and rename it. And then just move it right here. Right. Okay, it works. We now have a background for our new highways, as you can see. Uh, and I like the water shader, but let me show you how to make your own uh, material or shader for the background. Just simply create a material. Uh, we'll apply this material to the to the two planes or to the two static meshes we just added. Okay, so just go in and uh, create a, a lit material as you would, and then apply that material to the to the two um, node highway static meshes. That's pretty much it. So you can learn this material however, however you want. But yeah, basically this, this is all you do. Uh, it's up to you how how uh, advanced your material will be, but I was just showing you that you can customize their look. Now for this last tip, I just want to show you how you can control the color of your um, of your background while still maintaining the use of a texture. Okay, so this is the material. Just add a multiply node and uh, connect it like this to the color node, and just choose whichever color you want, and then you can customize the the background color while still maintaining the use of a texture. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end part one here. Um, on our next um, episode, we'll cover maybe how to make the UI look like that, and um, how to um, how to make uh, the no highways highways curve like they do inside Beatstar. Um, your controls 